So we got the Art Pro 165 DS. This is by Yes Welder. Now the welder runs on 110 volts and 220 volts. And I'm gonna be doing some testing on both voltages. We got some electrodes here. These are 332. And there's some 6013, if I'm correct, and 6011. 6010 and 7018. And these are in 1A. So the website claims that this machine is ideal for 6011, 6010, and 7018, but they claim it's only at 220 volts. So we're going to run a test right now and make a weld on 110 volts, and then right under it we'll do a, or next to it we'll do a, a 220. Alright guys, 6013, 70 amps. Now we're going to go to 6011 and I'm going to find something to shield here just to cover some of the, the flash there. So 6011, 70 amps. And the 611 is uh, struggling there to get started. Try a new Electro. Now we're going to jump up to uh, one ace electrodes, 93 amps, and we're going to do the 6010 there. 6010 usually struggles on these uh, inverter based welders, so I don't have much hope for it, but let's give it a shot. We're going to leave it at Alright guys, so there's that breaker. Um, like I said, we're running on 110 volts. 
We're going to switch over to 220 here. Now, I know there's a duty cycle on the machine, but we're going to go for it. If it blows, it blows. And if it works, it works. So, we're going to start off with 6013 again. Same amperage. We just want to see how the well looks and see if uh, anything changes. That is hot there. I'm gonna clean up the table there and let that cool down a bit. All right guys, so I wrote some numbers. 110 volts on the top, 220 on the bottom. First two rows, 6013. Next two rows, 6011, 6010, and 7018. So six, 6013 it's a nice electrode um, pretty good on smaller material there's less penetration with it um, 6011 has a lot of penetration uh, a lot of people like it because they can weld uh, through rust and stuff you know oil fuel pipe and scrap metal and I'm scared to touch the plate things gonna be hot still 6010 Like I mentioned, a lot of these inverter base uh, machines, they struggle with uh, 6010. And uh, 7018 works really nice on this machine. I know it looks nasty there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get my buffer right now. As you can see, a 6010 here, that one I was having a hard time keeping the art going. 6011, the same thing, but the 6010 was a bit harder to control there. 6013 looks nice. Um, the 7018 looks to be a bit cold there. It's still going to hold stuff together. So On the 220, the results are almost the same. It looks like there's more heat actually on the 6013 on the 220. 6011 appear to work a bit better. You know, not too much of this uh, mumble jumble going on. 6010 looks a bit nicer. Um, I believe it started uh, a bit better. The arc didn't go out as much as uh, running on 110. And uh, the 7018 here. Looks okay. Um, you can see where my speed, uh, I was slowing down and then going fast. So this is my my issue there. Over here, you know, looks pretty much the same here. Started off kind of slow and then I picked up the speed across. Here I went ahead and cranked up the, the amperage just for fun. And the welds look okay. Um, it is a hundred and five dollar welder plus tax or something like that got on amazon what else can we talk about breaker size i'm running a 20 amp on the 110 and a 50 amp on the 220 
And if we look back here, the the max on 100 on 220 is 25, and the max on 110 is 38 amps. Of course, it's not going to be constantly pulling that, but you know, if you keep going, you are going to blow the brake like I did. Now the machine is loud, too loud. Uh, the fan is always on full blast. There's no uh, temperature sensor or anything like that. These are your regular uh, connectors here. Now the wire on here feels very, um, I don't know if it's a jacket or the actual wire. Um, might even be a copper coated aluminum, but don't quote me there. 10 foot leads. So we press this one here. The top there is for 225th electrode, uh, 332, 1/8. And once all the lights are off, you can uh, use the amp setting up here and fine tune. Go down to 20 amps, all the way to 165 if you're on uh, 220. Then you got your arc force and your VRD. And there's a button there for a uh, lift uh, TIG. And I don't have any uh, equipment right now or anything for the TIG. So, yeah, pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, these are the last welds I did. Here's the ones I did yesterday. And the only reason I didn't uh, use this in the video was yesterday I didn't record on, uh, on this section here. I did the 220, but I missed the 110 or something like that. And here are the other welds. 6013, 6011, uh, 6010, 7018. I went in the same order. So there's all the welds, all the proof how this machine does. Penetration. More welds are on the back. So yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Hopefully, I enjoyed and get an idea of the Arc Pro 165 DS. You can get it on Amazon or on the Yes Water website or eBay as well. Now they have a good uh, return policy, good uh, warranty on them. So if you like them, check them out. And uh, see you on the next video.